Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Wednesday, February 20th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker, and it is beer time. So today has inadvertently become Merit Day here in the crease and in the manor. Why? Because I got a bunch of beers from Merit, and I'm like, I want to drink more of them. So, new holiday. <laughs> so we talked a little earlier about Young Rival, their flagship IPA. Beautiful beer. Finished it. Enjoyed it. Wished I had more. Now we're back to start talking about some of the funky, fun stuff Merritt does with one that I really have been looking forward to. Either way, Riesling. Super Saison 8.9, I believe, 8.99% ABV. It's a big beer. So they, they did two versions. They did the Vidal and the Riesling. Now, for whatever reason, in the last year or so, I have become a big fan of Riesling wines. I drank a bottle of Riesling wine last night. Well, most of a bottle. Um, I like the fruitiness. I like the slightly sour. Uh, it is something about that kind of wine. Weird, because I figured I'd always be in the big, bold reds. But I love a nice, fruity wine. So, having said that, this was a... They brewed up this batch of Saison, and then they split them into two fermenters and fermented them with Riesling or with Vidal juice. So, interesting concept. I believe I had the one they did last year. I can't remember what kind it was for the life of me, but I enjoyed it. So, now I'm going to have this one. The whole world looks a little nicer when you're drinking out of this glass. I got to say that too. You feel a little fancier and there's nothing wrong with enjoying the finer things in life. Oh, I smell already. So you're getting a bit of that, that kind of wineish tannins. I'm getting a bit of funk. Like a, I'm getting some of that. It's delightful. Apple? Pear maybe? Honestly, it's it's such wine is. <laughs> Ooh. You think it took a long time to figure out craft beer, and I'm still learning, and it's been like four years. Wine's a whole nother ball of wax. I'm the guy in the buying wine, going, I don't want to buy. I just pick a pretty label, try and buy Ontario wines, and that's you know. That, hopefully, we're we're trying to the people who talk about beer. We just want people to to you know know what it tastes like, or try and help people making their decisions. And that's a good thing, you know, we're just, it's all about education and learning, and, and that's part of the fun. So let's get into this, because this, this intrigues me. So cheers to, to, to not your everyday beer, to treating yourself, and to enjoying the hell out of life, even the little slices we get between work. Cheers. I like that. Wow. Okay, so definitely saison-y. Saison you just add a Y to everything. That's super Canadian. Just add a Y to it. It's a word now. No, it's saison -y. There's definitely getting that saison notes in there. And then there's this, this, this beautiful, sweet apple, lemon, pear note in there that really freshens it up. And you do not taste 8.9%. 8.9%. Am I right on that? I am. Over 8%. Oh, baby. I might have to add a nap to Merit Day just to really enjoy everything. Wow, that's really nice. Um, slightly funky, without being like not Brett funky, just kind of, you know, I think it's the blend of everything together. It's really, really nice. It is very easy drinking. I want to say I'm getting some banana out of there, probably. I, I live in a strange world where I don't really know sometimes. I, I don't have the refined palate that a lot of people think I do. It's just I, I work really, really hard to try and detect the notes and, and, and train myself. And it's a constant learning process, especially as brewers grow and change. And now we're starting to, you know, this kind of stuff. I mean, this one here is tequila barrel aged gosa with salted lime skins. Incredible. I'm looking forward to it. You know, very, very simple things in life can be so enjoyable. Now, Craft beer is one of those things. It is indeed a luxury, and it is indeed something that is, you know, to be enjoyed. I am very aware of the the, the, the luck that I have this life, the hard work I put into it, but that there's an element of luck to everything that we do, you know, that things went well, and I'm very aware of that, and I want to pay that back and pay that forward and help other people up, so that's always something we're talking about in craft beer. We want to more seats at the table, as my friend Ren says, all the time. And that's very, very important. So these are fun beers and beers you can talk about and have fun drinking and drink in a fancy glass and enjoy on your day off and bring a little joy, spark a little joy. Because you know what? 
everything I get from Merritt always sparks joy in me. And I love going there. I love spending time with the people that work there because they have a passion for not only beer, but for making this community a better place. And I'll be damned if that isn't pretty amazing in and of itself. You know, I'm very proud to be from Hamilton. And now I have beer and breweries and people who work there that share that passion and joy. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. As you can see, it's, it's a very fun day. I don't have chores to do, but eh, you know what? The chores will be there tomorrow. Right now, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling that I need a break, and this is how my break is going to go. Happy Merit Day, everyone, because that's what it is today. Cheers. Oh, that's just fun. That's a lot of fun.